I was raised by a mom who was a very selfless individual, and I watched her do things for other people my entire life. As I became a young adult and my relatives and hers were getting older, she stepped into that role of caregiving for a number of relatives in the family. And I just felt it was something that I owed to my mother to be there for her as long as I could. My name is Kathy Lovett, and I have taken on the role of caregiving for my 97-year-old mom, Catherine Lovett, for about the last 15 years. At that time, my father had recently died, so my mother was now living alone in her home. Both of us reside in a suburb outside of Chicago. Mom developed some health issues early on that were only temporary, but it would began to require more and more of my time in overseeing her care and making sure that she was still able to function alone in her own home. I can remember even the room <laughs> at Rush Hospital uh, where mom was when Dr. Dawn came in once um, she had been transferred uh, out of intensive care into a regular room. and. Uh, but I just remember being very impressed uh, by Dr. Dong and his demeanor and his interest in my mother and being inclusive of my family and me. Her world is becoming more and more silent and she just can't really participate, but there's never a complaint that comes out of her mouth. When I put her to bed every night and most of the time after I tuck her in and we sing our songs and I say good night, I can just walk out the door and be fine and think, okay, now I'm going to go have my glass of wine. And there are other days when it really hits me that that might be the very last time I get to kiss my mom goodnight and I get to hear I love you. And it becomes very difficult that I will sometimes allow the reality to set in, but for the most part, I just have to treat it like another day, and tomorrow I'll go through this all over again, even though I know in my heart and in my mind that when I walk out the door that night, that could be the very last time that I ever get to do that with her. I'm so consumed with my mother's care that my care should be uppermost on my mind and that I'm quickly approaching those stages in my life. So what do I want? for my final years and what do I expect of my daughter, I've not really been able to go there. I certainly wouldn't want Sarah to feel obligated to do for me what she has watched me do for my mom. Hopefully over the next couple of decades there will be better options and more affordable options than taking on the responsibility that I took on because it, it is life altering for the family member who becomes the caregiver. And I, you know, having said that, if I had to make the decision all over again, I would do the same thing.